Last night was so much fun with the northern lights all the way down in throughout Oklahoma and Kansas. You can see the Aurora from Keystone Lake here, some of the reds and especially the greens that were just above the northern horizon that sent in by our viewer Bob. Now very close to a record high temperature tomorrow to start the weekend. Tomorrow our forecast in Tulsa is 93 degrees. The average for this time of year is sitting way lower at 75. The record high 94 from 1978. So again, super close tomorrow afternoon. We'll be watching that very closely. The pollen report still high for ragweed. Low for molds that has gone down, moderate for trees and non-existent for grasses across eastern Oklahoma. On dual Doppler radar Viper 4D, we had a few showers and storms yesterday and also this morning. Now for early this afternoon, just to the south of McAllister, you can see that around Savannah, just to the south of town there. No lightning strikes on the radar at this time. This is a live look from the Wade's RV weather camera network at the Tulsa International Airport. Sunny skies, 82 degrees, south winds upwards of around 14 miles per hour and pretty low on the relative humidity now down to around 34 percent. Take a look at Bartlesville. Excellent display of the northern lights last night. 83, 82 in Coffeeville, 81 in Tahlequah and down into the upper 70s around McAllister because of the showers and storms and some of those clouds that are still hanging tough there and 85 in Bristow. On the visible satellite picture over the past couple of hours, you can see sunny skies across northeast Oklahoma and Kansas, but this little compact area of low pressure producing the clouds and the showers continues to pull off towards the southeast. Later today in T-Town, we have 90 degrees, so hot for this time of year. South winds between about 10 and 15 miles per hour. Daytime highs from the mid 80s to the lower 90s. Still water at 92 degrees, 90 in Bristow and 91 in Seminole. Overnight tonight, not doing too bad. Pretty calm conditions and mainly clear to clear skies with those lows from the upper 50s and into the low to the mid 60s. Here's your latest seven day forecast again tomorrow close to that record high of 94 degrees south winds between about 5 and 15 and then a cool front comes in. So by Sunday knocking that high temperature down a little bit northeasterly winds on the back side of that cool front between about 10 and 20 miles per hour. But then notice for next week the colder air spills in. So we have those morning lows returning to the 40s. Maybe some outlying locations dipping down into the upper 30s with daytime highs very comfortable and seasonal for this time of year into the mid 70s. And then we warm up once again into the lower 80s on Thursday with that south wind between about 10 and 20 miles per hour.